In this video, I'm going to show you the technique for a gram stain, and this is activity 3-7. And I'm gonna walk you through and show you how do you make a heat fix smear, and then how do you perform a gram stain. So in this video, we are going to do our gram stain. And so to start, we're gonna take a slide, and the slide is labeled with my initials, gram stain, S-E-C-F, those are the two organisms we will be using and today's date. And so I'm going to just kind of use my lab coat and wipe it clean. Now I need to start by adding water to my slide. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my loop and I'm going to add a drop of water about the size of a nickel. So to do that, the easiest way is to take my squirt bottle with water and to add the water to my loop. And I'm going to add the water to the slide about the size of a nickel. Now I didn't have to sterilize my loop because there hadn't been any bacteria. There's not really anything I wanted to worry about. But if you wanted to be safe, you could sterilize your loop as well. So I'm just gonna sterilize when I'm done, just to be safe. Starting from the base, working towards the tip. So I have my water on. Now I need to transfer my, my bacteria. I'm gonna do this with my needle, and I straighten my needle to make sure that it's nice and straight. And I'm going to flame this, starting at the base, working towards the tip. I need to let it cool. I want to let it cool by the flame. That's my sterile feel. While I'm doing that, I'm going to loosen the caps for my two organisms. Now, I'm ready to transfer one of the organisms. So I'm gonna pick up the tube, put the cap between my pinky and ring finger. I'm gonna flame the opening of the tube and I'm gonna take my needle and just barely touch where the bacteria is. Flame it, cap. I move it in my rack so that I know it's already been used. I'm gonna take my needle, swirl it in the water and make the water go out to about the size of a quarter. So I've transferred one bacteria, so now I need to flame sterilize my needle again. And I'm going to let it cool. Next, I'm going to add my second bacteria. So again, in this experiment, we're using Citrobacter frondii and Staphylococcus epidermidis. So I've already added one, now I need to add the other. So once my needle is cooled, again, I'm gonna take the cap between my pinky and my ring finger, flame it, go in, pick up a little bit of bacteria, I don't need a lot, flame it, cap, and then swirl it in the water. I'm gonna flame sterilize my needle. And I'm gonna set that down. And I'm going to start by drying my slide. So I'm putting my slide on the slide warmer and I'm gonna let it air dry. Now, the reason I had to use my needle to add the bacteria is because we want to use the needle so that we don't pick up too much bacteria. If I were to use my loop to pick up the bacteria, I would pick up way too much. So instead, when I transfer bacteria, I use my needle. So what I'm doing now is I'm letting my slide air dry. And then the next thing I need to do is that I need to heat fix my slide. And so to do this, I'm going to get a slide clip. And so when this is dry, I'm going to put my slide on my slide clip and I'm gonna do three passes through the flame. Now, the reason that this needs to be dry is that when I do this, if this is wet and I put it through the flame, my bacteria might splatter. So I don't want that to happen. So I have to air dry my slide first before I can do this step. So I'm just waiting for my slide to dry. My slide warmer is set at about 45 degrees. I'm done with my bacteria, so I'm gonna move those out of the way. And while I'm letting that dry, 
I'm going to grab my gram stain kit. In my gram stain kit, I have my crystal violet. I have my iodine, this is my mordant. I have my decolorizer, my acetone alcohol. And I have my safranin, which is my secondary stain or counter stain. So I'm gonna take my slide that is now dry. You can see that I have a white little puddle where the bacteria is. My slide is dry, now I'm ready to heat fix. So I put my slide clip on and I'm gonna do three passes through the flame. One, two, three. So three pa passes through the flame. Once I do that, I can turn off the gas. I don't need my flame anymore. And I'm going to put my slide on my slide rack. So now I'm ready to begin my gram stain. So I'm gonna start with my crystal violet and I'm going to add the crystal violet and I'm just going to cover where the bacteria is. And I need to let that sit for one minute. After one minute, I'm going to dump the crystal violet and I'm going to rinse with deionized water. I squirt above where the bacteria is and I just let it run down my slide. So just kind of rotate. I kind of squirt the back just in case there's some on the back and just let it run down. Shake the extra water off and then I'm going to now add my iodine. So here's my iodine, this is my mordant. This is going to form my crystal violet iodine complex to make the crystal violet larger. So I'm just gonna add it where the bacteria is and I'm gonna let that sit for one minute. After one minute, I'm going to dump it off. And I'm going to rinse again with deionized water. Now, the next part of this is going to be the decolorization step. This is the most important step of the whole procedure. So what I wanna do in this step, so let me shake off the extra water, is that I want to add the decolorizer until the liquid coming off is clear. So to do that, I'm just going to add it and as I do that I see that the liquid coming off has some color to it shake off the excess so you can see and then my liquid coming off is clear so I'm going to stop so once my liquid coming off is clear I'm going to then rinse with water again And now I'm ready for my last step, which is my safranin, which is my counter stain. And so I'm going to add this to my slide for one minute. So just submerge where the bacteria is and let that sit for one minute. After the one minute, I'm going to take my slide and I'm gonna dump my safranin off. I'm going to again rinse with deionized water and then I'm going to let my slide air dry and then put it on the microscope and view under a thousand X magnification. So here we go, my safranin is done and I rinse. And so after I rinse again, I just let it air dry and when it's air dried, then I'm ready to use my microscope. I can take a chem wipe and wipe the back side of the micro or the back side of the slide and the reason for that is there's no bacteria back here so I can go ahead and wipe that just to get rid of any excess if you were in a pinch you could very gently blot the slide however it's better to just let it sit and let it air dry so I'm just gonna let it sit and then I would view under the microscope 